Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 19. Today we're gonna cover adding an extra user profile field to the WordPress uh, user admin. Before we get going though, I just wanna direct you to the site. If you're not currently a subscriber to the podcast, you can click up on podcast and that will take you to iTunes where you can subscribe to the podcast. We also have a lot of other stuff here. If you look, we have all the functions we've ever done. Again, all the conditionals, all the actions, filters, and globals. So there's a bunch of extra information on here. Uh, every time I've written about anything, you can find it. So this is our basic WordPress user admin. And you can see it has stuff for our name, first name, last name, or nickname, how we want to display it, email, website, aim, if people use that, Yahoo IM, Jabber Google Talk, and our biographical info. Quite often, I've actually had to extend the user profile fields. Um, for a business site recently, we wanted to add business phone numbers, we wanted to add their business title, their business name. Um, we, we also even put them into Teams uh, with a dropdown. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new chunk to our user profile information down here, and we're just gonna add our business title. As usual, you can see I've added a new plugin called Business Phone WP Theme Tutorial, and I'm gonna activate it. So right now it's gonna do nothing, because as you can see, it just has the basic plugin header. So let's grab our first chunk of code. So here we have our first chunk of code. So what we're doing is we're using two actions. We're using uh, add action on show user profile and edit user profile. That's so we can get it when we're showing it and when it's been edited. And then we basically just throw in some HTML for a form, an H3 for a header, the start of our table with a class of form table because that's what WordPress uses. Then we're gonna label it. And then we use our input. And in our input, we're using get the author meta, which takes two parameters. The first thing it takes is the name of the field we wanna get. And the second thing it takes is the user ID. Then we're gonna put a description in there and that's it. So if we went to our user profile now, refresh. You can see that we have a business title in there but we're not doing anything to save it, so it's not gonna show up. So let's start saving our user profile. So again, here, uh, we start with current user Ken. And we're, in this case, we're passing two arguments. We're passing edit user, which means uh, any user that has the capability of edit user and can edit this user ID. So the reason we're passing two instead of the normal one is because if we just passed edit user, then we'd have issues with users editing their own user profile. They wouldn't be allowed because they don't have the blanket capability. They are allowed to edit their own profile only, whereas an admin is allowed to edit everyone's. So if they're doing that, then we return false because they're not even allowed to really be on that page. They shouldn't be able to edit it. The next thing we do is we're checking to see if our post variable has the business title set, and that's what we named and labeled and ID'd our fields up here. And then we're passing update user meta is what we're gonna do, which takes our user ID, it takes the name of the field we wanna use, and then it takes our new value, which is we're escaping as well to make sure that we have valid text coming into it. And here we're using two actions again. We're using personal options update, which would be used when a user is updating their own options. And then we're using edit user profile update, which would be used when another user that has the capability to edit their profile is doing the update. So let's save that. And I'll go back and refresh to reload our files. Let's say we're a cheese salesman. Update our profile. And you can see we've now saved ourselves as a cheese salesman. So you can do that with anything. I've added drop downs, you could add phone numbers, um, you can add kind of really whatever you want to the user profile. Things you need to make sure you're doing is that you're escaping properly using escape attribute or escape URL or escape text area or WP kisses post, um, depending on what exactly information you want out of it. And that's really about it. So you just continue to duplicate your, your table row like that, and you'd add another field in there. That's how you add user profile fields to the WordPress admin. Thanks for watching.